This video covers the iSplice procedure for Yale Cordage Industrial Double Braid products. If the end of your rope is sealed or taped, cut the end off. Use a needle to secure the core and sleeve more than 6 feet from the end to be spliced. Using an appropriately sized fid, make a mark at one fid length from the end of the rope. If a desired eye size is needed, use a tape measure or ruler to verify the eye size now. From the first eye mark, count down eight strand pairs and draw a line across the width of the rope. From this line, count down and mark the fourth, eighth, and thirteenth strand pair in the cover of the rope. At the second eye mark, use your fid to open up the cover of the rope and extract the core. Be careful not to split or snag any of the sleeve ends while doing so. Once the core is removed from the sleeve, make a reference mark at the point where the core exits the sleeve. Extract the remainder of the core. When you get to the end of the core, make a 45 degree taper and tape it tightly. Ensure that the core and sleeve are well balanced by extracting a short length of the core and working from the knot or needle, milk the sleeve slack back towards the end of the rope. Make a new mark at the point where the core now exits the sleeve. Extract a short length of the core and make a new mark one half fit length from the mark you just made working away from the end of the rope. This crossover mark indicates the location that the tapered sleeve will be inserted back into the center of the core. Insert the tapered end of the core into the back of the fit and tape it tightly. Going back to the line drawn adjacent to the first eye mark, insert the fit into the hollow sleeve of the rope. Continue inserting the fit into the rope until you've gone approximately five stitch lengths, or in this case five green tracers, past the point where the core exits the sleeve. Extract the fid from the inside of the rope while being careful not to catch the core and not to split any of the sleeve strands. Carefully pull through the core until the alignment mark is matched up with the location where the core enters the sleeve. Using a taper tool or a pair of scissors, carefully cut and remove the taper pattern from the sleeve of the rope. Lay the core and the sleeve tail next to each other and indicate the approximate location where the sleeve will exit the core. From the alignment mark, insert your fit into the hollow center of the core and pass it out beyond the mark you just made. Tape the end of the sleeve into the back of the fit and pull the sleeve through. Pull on the end of the core and the end of the sleeve to tighten the crossover location. Remove the tape from the end of the sleeve. 
Unravel a short section of the sleeve and cut a gradual taper along its length. Milk the tail of the cover back into the core. If any of the cover remains exposed, trim it off here. Working away from the center of the eye, milk the cover back, pulling in the tail of the core. Grab the core from the point where it exits the rope and extract a short length. Cut the core at this point. Unravel a short length of the core and cut a gradual taper along its length. Milk the excess sleeve slack back, pulling in the tail of the core. To complete the splice, while pulling against a secure fixture, rotate the top of the eye towards the exposed core. Milk any excess sleeve slack back towards the eye. The splice is complete when the first and second eye mark are aligned and a whipping is performed one inch from the base of the eye. Refer to the whip lock instructions at the end of the industrial single braid eye splice video.